Welcome back. Still trying to spot this morning. It's time to talk about table tennis now. And um, uh, we all know that the Nigerian team couldn't go to Tunisia uh, for the uh, African Junior Championship because of lack of funding. Uh, but um, the Nigerian Table Tennis Federation president, um, Enito Oshiri, was able to sponsor two players uh, to that particular tournament, but this time uh, to play qualifiers uh, for the youth Olympics and Cecilia, um, not good at all. Uh, we've talked about that over and over again. Uh, we don't want it to look like uh, we're overflogging yeah. uh, the situation. Issues of not traveling every yeah, time. Yeah, so let's forget about that and talk about the guys the, that made it to Tunisia. Yeah, the two of them, talking mm. about Aziz, Aziz and uh, Esther Oriba okay. Michel, two of them are there. They are in the semifinals already and the tournament is going on now in Egypt. But then the question now is can they actually be able to? you know, make it to the Youth Olympics? That would be the big question. We'll be talking uh, to uh, Olalekon Okusun. He's in Tunisia right now where the tournament is taking place to tell us how the players are faring and the possibility of them making it to the Youth Olympics in Argentina later this year if uh, Lekon is ready. Good morning, Lekon. Good to have you this morning. Good morning, Cecilia. Good morning, Tayo. Good morning. Now, what are the, the tournament is going yeah. on. What are the chances of the Nigerian players, two of them, making it to the final run and qualify for the Youth Olympic Games? Yeah, uh, Cecilia, I want to tell you, in the next, in the next uh, 40 minutes, they will know their pace. They are in the, the just a match away from qualifying. Uh, next time I have an easy win, because uh, the Moroccan girl might not be there. Uh, you know, but in table tennis, you don't, you, don't, you, don't make up, you don't decide before the match, but, uh, you know, she just a match away from uh, qualifying. And I think for sure, like it's also going to play against the fans. You going to play against the old player, that is the Indonesian player. And then uh, when I got to the village this morning, the old place is jam packed. I think the, the family of the young guy that wants to play at this, everybody came here to support the young guy. That means he has to be at his best to qualify. But to see uh, the players are giving a good account of themselves. Yesterday, they started with their good matches. They won all their matches. And the, one of the perfect matches that the Esther Oribanishi played yesterday was against a Tunisian uh, number one uh, female player. It was a tough match. But the uh, experience came to fall for Esther. She won 3-2. But for the last few years, she nearly got to do a match uh, against the Algerian talent. But she uh, was able to kill two. And uh, it gave a good account of it. It was just, just fight that uh, the game comes to the ITCF African. Because most of the players playing here have played the African Junior Championship. And they came without playing any time. They came with all their matches. That shows that uh, if they have come for African Junior Championship, they will do better than this. And uh, see, I, I want to tell you that if this kid has not been here, that's why we, 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 I don't know why we still blame on young people. I tell you, I have to. It took it took uh, intervention of myself and some people to appeal to the president of the Nigerian Table Tennis Federation to be able to to facilitate the coming of these kids to this place. Yeah. I want to tell you one thing. I, I was able to talk to the South African team. I had said, how do you guys talk to Kino Shabu? Tell me, what did they The ministry did every position their money. That's why I don't know why we can't fight in that Nigeria. Let every position know how much they kept in a year. If you are giving them 20 million, that means they will come with 20 million. But now, they have to go to the ministry to get them for money. I don't know. I don't know. We can't continue like this. You know, I was talking to the Egyptian coach after the African Junior Championship. You know what he told me? <laughs> Let me hear it. What did he, he said, say? They won't all decide to vote. He said they won't all decide to vote. They are not satisfied because I hear it's not there. They are not, they are not fulfilled. That if they are beating Nigeria, they will be so happy celebrating. But they didn't celebrate. There was no celebration because they knew that they play against the Mika team. But uh, even with that, I want to tell you, everything in Africa is developing. Okay. I saw the young boys from Libya. I saw the young boys from Sierra Leone. Everybody playing well. That's why we need to expose this young player early. No, but when you're saying that when Egyptians won, they didn't celebrate and all that, it seems uh, during the whole tournament, it, it would have been better if Nigerians were there. Yes, yes, yes because uh, even the Mauritian could, you know, Mauritian could defend. It's not if there is any competition without Nigeria. There will be no glamour. Because the institution of Nigeria is the only thing that has the talent. Our players are people. We might not have the equipment. We might not have the... the, 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 the our players are people. They know how to play. 
know how to make that feel. But in Zion, everybody was telling me, where's Nigeria? You know, they know I'm in Nigeria, but everyone was like, where's Nigeria? Where's Nigeria? That's the person that was asking. But, you know, but that was the system for the new political fire, and everybody knew that Nigeria had arrived. You know, all this. You know, we didn't have much fans like we have today. This morning I got to the office. Okay, Lekon, um, um, hopefully um, both um, Aziz Shilanke and Esther Bamishe are able to actually uh, qualify for the Youth uh, Olympics um, that will go down in Argentina uh, later on in the year. Uh, let's talk about the senior uh, men's team now. Uh, seven, uh, seven man squad has actually been named uh, for the um, ITTF World Championships. Tell us about that. Uh, the World Championship is an individual, you know, every two years we have the individual, that means the single World Championship. And every other year we have the same, but last year was the same World Championship. This year is the individual, that is the single World Championship. Then you you know, I, I, I tell you, sometimes people ask me, why do you talk about the time, but when is the second place? People say, I think we should play well. Play fantastically well. And every other player, we have a last year, we've also played well in Africa. We have a last year, we've also played well in Italy. And this I don't see, and this is people that we play the last year, and we need to start it. So, you know, you know, my concern now is that they may have seen you, they have seen me, and I know that they have what I did, and they thought I'd make a common interest to them about the thing. And maybe when something, we will not be saying the same thing when the competition comes in less than a month now. It's okay, the competition starts at May 29. And I'm sure that the ministries are aware of this, that they are going to work that just That's the thing that they're going to get in this year. I think uh, the players have been there, the focus on the is doing well. And uh, the election, the agency uh, in Portugal is doing well. And the players are so, certainly also in Portugal. I think the team is really ready for the What is one thing to have to say? It's not that simple. It's not that simple. In fact, I know the minister will say that the position is focused. Um, the championship starts on, on May the 29th, and uh, obviously we know it's well-documented funding problems. What's the entity of doing uh, to prevent uh, the same old uh, recurring story? You know, I cannot talk for the entity because I'm not the PRO. But what I know is that if you can't then be passionate about the sport. If somebody that is passionate about the sport, he was there, 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 even in senior they have got everything, they have got the food, they have got everything for them, you know. Some of the players are coming up safe. But I know they are planning, they are, they are, the players are also in that role. But uh, there is not many players can do just for a few minutes to make what happens. Mm -hmm. The players are eager to get qualified. And I'm sure you are aware that some of them play last year, they will have to carry that to get qualified. And uh, because we tell us here, that's why we are able to have our senior team. But I'm not sure whether we are able to play next year one. Well, thank you so much. I can understand the passion. You know, uh, Lekon is a table tennis writer. And the first thing he talked about was the fact that uh, Oriba Mishish is going to play, Aziz is going to play today. And the thing is, in 40 minutes, I won't know if they can get a ticket. The thing is, the parents of the, uh, the opponent, they're actually at the stadium supporting them. I'm afraid here yeah, because the pressure will just be there. And hopefully, they can overcome that pressure yeah. and qualify for it. Hopefully, because, I mean, so far, they've done really well. Oh, really I mean, well, I if not going early the, and all that. Exactly, arriving late. Uh, they've done well to, uh, to get this far, but they need uh, just one more other 
uh, to cross uh, before uh, they can qualify for the youth One more. Uh, Olympics. Uh, for the World Championship, uh, Cecilia, for the senior men's team, um, the guys we usually can. suspect uh, Arnold Quadri, uh, seven-time Olympian, Shego Torella is on the team as well too, and Olajide Omotaya will be making his debut uh, at the World Championship. We also have Ojo Onolapo as well too, will be there. And for the ladies, it's the yeah, same? You have the same, but three of them, yeah. Adam Ophiong, Cecilia Atman, of course. Funke the Shinaki. evergreen. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is, if you check for, for a while, last, last year, uh, Efeon and Akman, they missed out in, in Malaysia, mm. you know, because there was no money. I mean, Why Funk and the others? Because, they you know, they had fund. to fund themselves. Okay. To, we hope it doesn't happen uh. again uh, this year, because this story, it's not looking pretty. It's not looking good at all. Now, Twitter, Facebook, you guys talk to us on Twitter and on Facebook. What do you think about this issue of funding when it comes to all sports in Nigeria? But table tennis seems to be the the worst hit in it because uh, Lekon talked about the fact that most of the federation across the world or even in Africa they know how much they get at the beginning of the year but in Nigeria here you really don't know how much when a team wants to travel you know the federation president will have to go to the ministry and start begging but if you're going to focus on youth development and we don't even have funds for these youths to go for championship then there is a problem what can be done we understand the ministry is trying to have guidelines, have good elections and all that, but that is not enough. You have to start solving the rot and the problem from now. Talk to us on Twitter and on Facebook on our handle, and we'll definitely be able to read most of your tweets. Yes, we can do that. Yeah, of course. We will do that, right? <laughs> we will do that. Yeah. We will do it.